went like This is Elric Ong, and today I'm here with J Jeff Cunningham, and he is a marketing genius. And today I'm just going to bounce some ideas with him, share about his branding secrets, his marketing secrets, and his automation secrets. Welcome to the show, Jeff. Hey, yeah, thank you for having me. I'm also known as Jeff the Entrepreneur, or Jeff J. Cunningham, which is part of the marketing genius I have in me. Um, just recently, I'll explain that later on, but pleasure to have you. Where, where, where are you from, by the way? How do you say your name? I'm Elric, yeah. I'm from Singapore. Uh, we're from Singapore, man. You got some dude, pleasure to be on your show. Thank you so much for this. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. Of, I don't do many of these anymore. So we agreed this. I was on a call and I was like, oh, I remember this one. So I'm glad I'm here. Awesome, man. Yeah. All right. So, okay, let's start, let's start off with maybe you can share about your entrepreneurial journey. How do you get started? How do you get started in marketing? And then we can go on from there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, great. So, yeah, how I got started was literally, uh, I'll, I'll be I'll say something I never share on a, another show. Uh, probably it was a lemonade stand out on a little corner when I was probably like 12 and I had my brother and sister advertise for me. And as soon as we sold out a lemonade, I was like, man, we got to sell some other stuff. But we were, we were raking in like 80 bucks a day. And for like, a, I don't know, 11 year old, that was pretty good. Uh, I think we even hit a 300 day. I don't remember, but it was, it was really good. Um, and then fast forward um, recently, I don't know if you know much about it, but I don't have to go through it long. But uh, four years ago, my older brother, Jay, um, he, I went to wake him up. He didn't wake up on drugs, fentanyl. He passed away and uh, it shelled me. Uh, and I found a video on YouTube by this guy named Grant Cardone on depression. And uh, my dad showed it to me. It was right when my student passed away. A whole bunch of stuff happened. But then um, he basically said, do what scares you and present your outlook now. So I set out the dream, just like Gary Vee and the Jets, for one day to build the biggest franchise ever called Kokomo Jays and honor my older brother. And that's what you're watching me in the middle of doing, right? So during that, um, I did something that scared me. I went from being a teacher. You, know, you ever you, you go to school over there in Singapore? Yeah, of course we go to school in Singapore, yeah. Now, I don't know if it's anything about in America, but the school we taught, I was a teacher, is all, it's stuff that they don't, it's not entrepreneur type stuff. It's not stuff they can take on. So right. Is it the same thing over there? Yeah, same thing. <laughs> we learned like chemistry. So me and, Bra me and Bradley and Dan Fleischman and uh, Cody, we're, we're working on changing that and getting the right information. They have a great course called the 100 Million Academy, which mm. um, I don't get paid to promote, but it's phenomenal. Uh, there's a lot of guys on there. And then uh, Grant Cardone. But um, basically what I did was I, I was working at the school. I was actually teaching kids millionaire math in the school. And I was getting like in trouble for it. Why you teach this stuff? You can't be telling stories. At the same time that summer, I built my first business photography business, traveled around doing photography, reinvested in a video editing business. Then I bought a software script that white labeled it and then created my own software, which are now I own equity in. Um, but yeah, that's, that, that's kind of the, the, the trial of the journey going. And then during all that time, the one thing I did really important uh, is I always sold the vision and I always branded myself all the time. And this is something I learned from the, from the great Grant Cardone I know Billie Jean is marking, does a good job on it, but like, and because of that, it's been able to transport that to any person, wherever they are, if they can't get known, I can get them known and I can find the exact client they're for. I've been doing it for the past, been doing it probably my whole life, but definitely uh, for the past four years, it's extremely well, so. So what, what kind of software business do you have? Like what, what does the software do? Who are your clients? Yeah, so the software we have, so one of them is called Postflow. Um, very similar. It's supposed to be you post to one social, post to all of them. Uh, that was my baby. What happened was we weren't any different than the market, so we pivoted. And we, me and Ahmad, my partner out in London, um, we built um, something called Bread Earners, which is an affiliate marketing software. And it works 
And I actually, I'm right now in my book coming out, Getting Rich in a Recession. Come, I went down to zero. I took my last commission check and I, I put it all into the software to get it going. But the truth be told, man, uh, and it's in the book too, a, a Russian coder tried to, uh, that we hired on the team, which I didn't qualify him like I qualified. You got to qualify everybody you hire. Ahmad hired him. It's all good. But uh, yeah, I always hire, ask people, do you know Grant Cardone and do you do drugs, right? And I don't think, uh, I don't think he answered on both of those. But anyway, long story short, tried to wreck the software. I have it on YouTube. Maybe I'll put it up one day of me doing it. We were able, because of connections, this is why connections are key. I was able to connect with some guy who built a Bitcoin service. We were able to save the software. So I still have equity in it, but we never got it off the ground. And in software business, I know a lot of young people want apps and everything. I burned through so many thousands of dollars uh, and really just a ton of money. It takes a lot to get it to market. So, um, but I've learned a lot. And what, what I've learned in that is how to make money online, how to, we, I, I did an e-commerce store for a little bit, the fulfillment, right? So I have all this knowledge, right, that I'm really good at simplifying and put it down. It's funny, I'm on Clubhouse now. I think it's how we connected, right? You heard me speaking there. And, dude, I, like, know this stuff to tell people, and it's, it's really good advice so they don't lose thousands like I did. So I'm the one marketing guy that whatever you pay me, you're going to get 10 times the return. You know, that's that's my biggest thing, you know? I used to do coaching. I don't do coaching anymore. I'll do, like, group group consulting now for, like, course creators. But yeah, that's that's basically what I focus on, you know. So how do you help uh, cost creators to like automate their business and scale their business? So it's all it's all partnerships. Anywhere, one thing if you watch an undercover billionaire with Grant, he goes in there, uses other people's money, and starts partnering with people right away, right? I did. I was doing the same thing. I'm always like, I don't want to say I'm a step ahead of Grant, but I'm always hey, listen. He's where he's at. But and I don't mean it like in a competitive way. He's the guy who inspired me. But um. I always collab with people who have what I don't have, right? So a guy named Andy Audet. Do you know who Andy Audet is? No. So you should have him on here. He's a really good dude. He's king of automation. He has a whole automation system and service. We're new event and show everybody exactly how to do it. So it's usually I collabed with him and did a lot of webinars. Mm -hmm. And then he would do webinars. We'd sell from the webinars all, every uh, week. And then what we do is we help people automate their businesses, whatever they are. And because I worked really well with Bradley and course creators, I took the same automation and then my same copywriting skills to market and I married them together. And this is how I've used both things to automate uh, the course creators. Does it make sense? So you automate the marketing as well as the delivery? Yeah. So first what we do is we sit down, let's say you had a course creator. We sit down with you. We learn about you really quick. Learn about, and I mean really quick, there's a lot of those coaching calls, deep dives, and they waste time. And entrepreneurs like us, we don't like to waste time, right? So yeah. I go... I, I, and I do it in a group now. I, I ask people questions about them, learn about them. Then we figure out their brand messaging kind of. And um, it's cool, man. And you know what? Here's the thing. I've done it. It was good to even get it done with me, right? Like I help course creators automate six figures. I help course creators fix what's not selling. Like that's the brand message, right? Shout out to Dan Henry who helped me fix that. But in life, man, um, you got to make sure clear is better than clever. All right, like mm -hmm. right there, there, clear is better than clever. A lot of people try to be clever and everything, right? And you got to be clear. So that's what I help you get clear on it. I do a three-step process that I got from uh, one of my mentors, emotion. I switch it, but emotion, value, and a call to action. You connect with someone really quick on a, a click funnel or a website, right? And some people don't know how to do it. That's where they come in. And then you provide the value. And then just a subtle call to action. So they want to find out you more. I've been doing this four years of my life. And that's why. That's why you asked me to be on a podcast because I, get, I hit probably that in some way. So if you ask me to be on this podcast, right, um, then other people are going to be asking for the people's course. Hey, what, I want to hear more about your course, right? And it's not just the course. Course is a high ticket item. We can do digital products too. It's just the one that you can get to six figures. Like my last client made 10K in one day. I think he just made 40K today. So these guys are making serious money by doing to tweaking stuff. And then what we do is then um, – we basically automate it with, we pair them up with people that work with them to then get it in front of the most eyes, if that makes sense. I see. So, um, and you mainly help them to do a, an online course or is it more of like coaching? And what's the price point? Uh, you yeah, 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 no. So you got to, you got to, listen, coaching, like one-on-one, -on -one, this is my time, right? If yeah. I did coaching yeah. right now where I'm at, and I don't mean this sounds any way. People ask me for coaching advice all the time. It's driving me nuts. Okay. That's why I was just on a call before. I'll find somebody. So what you need to do is you need to leverage yourself. Leverage yourself. The one thing I didn't do is I didn't build any products before. I have a book coming out and I have a course coming out, right? 
it's basically repeating all the stuff I've been coaching. It's going to leverage my time so I can do more in my business, so I can scale and grow. Someone just wants to be a coach, right? I hate that. I hate life coaches. I hate all that. I hate strategies um, because, like, it's so broad, man. And, like, everybody has a coach in life. You've been influenced by anybody you've been around. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We all have mentors. Let's put it that way. I mean, whatever word you want to put on. We all have people who, who influence us on several levels. A coach is someone you pay to get to the next level, right? That's what it is. So you don't have to do that, right? And that's, I'll do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but it's extremely priced high because like I'm so in demand, right? So it's just like economics, so there's a lot of uh, supply and demand, right? right? You're doing it the right way, man. I tell everybody, if you don't have money for coaching right now, go have them on your podcast, ask them all the questions you want. I mean, the coach, the consulting calls, I do a little different because I learn more about them and then I tailor it right to them and I do that. And it's great doing it. Myron Golden taught me this. He's like my current mentor guy. He taught me, you're doing a nice service if you coach someone one-on-one. -on -one. When you coach them in a group, people ask questions that people won't think of and you can actually get more breakthroughs. So that's why we're, we're launching another, um, like I think it's like a 7K um, group uh, mastermind type deal um, consulting for course creators. That's going to be at the end of February. So people already applied for that. I see. So like, yeah, I, I, I interviewed Myron as well. Um, yeah, he shared a lot of value. Um, so, okay, let's say I'm already at seven figures, right? So how do you help someone from seven figures get to eight figures? So, yeah, it's teams. It's developing people. So everything in life, man, is people, right? Mm -hmm. Companies don't make people. People make companies. Does that make sense, right? Yeah. So you just need, like, that's why, like, me and you, this is great. I might need some in Singapore. We might do business later together. I might hire a wing out there, you know, or, or vice versa, right? So, like, I'm sure you're a young entrepreneur, too, and a lot of young entrepreneurs don't want to be hired. I, I know that feeling, too, man. People want to do this all the time, right? You want to be doing the hiring, right? And it's an ego thing, man. It is 100%. I have partnered with my brother's financial firm, Changing Lives Financial. Um, it's backed by, do you know what Ed Milet is? No. Yeah, dude, no. Man, Ed Milet's kind of advertising. Yeah, Ed Milet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. So I was out in Vegas just recently. He turns over and goes, hey, is that Jeff the Entrepreneur? So I know I was doing something I branded myself, you know? So um, so I help partner and help out that. And I, I'm always looking to hire people for that. That's a firm for my brother in the States and uh, Canada. And I'll probably be world eventually. But um, but yeah, that's that's how you do it, man. You, you just build teams then. So what my brother's really good at this. My brother has a 10K course in mastery management. And anybody who's making seven figures, if they bought this course, it shows the hierarchy of human development and how to actually build teams and develop leaders. And when you develop leaders to lead a team, that's how you then scale and grow. Because think about it. It's very simple. If you, I don't know if we're going to put video up for this, but if you build a team here, and this is making, let's say, six or so, let's say it's making seven figures good today, right? Then all you have to do is you have to make the systems good. This is what I'm working on right now. This is why you're saying, listen, I'm transparent. I'm not going to say I'm there and this, that. I'm, I'm doing, building the systems right now, right? But I know what to do, and that's what I'm doing. And uh, it's awesome. And I'm seeing the results already. It's crazy. So I actually hired on new assistants. So build the team systems. You take one of these leaders from the team and you have them go build another team. Make sense? Yeah. So sense. now they're doing it under the same thing, right? So now you have seven, now you have eight, then you have nine, right? Or the other way to do it is collab, right? Like my boy, which you know, you're going to have him on here too. I'm sure JT Fox, yeah. me and him have been, yeah. we, we both have, uh, this is JT and those are my thoughts. I would say this is Jeff J and those are my thoughts. <laughs> The other thing you can do is what he's been doing great on a clubhouse. He's been taking a, a huge advantage of it. He's been meeting people who have great businesses and then acquiring part of them. So that's another flow you can get up to it. So now you don't have to do the work because you have the capital and you're staying liquid, right? So mm -hmm. I, I have a bad job. Mm -hmm. I don't stay liquid. I always invest my money in real estate, Bitcoin, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Which is not good. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't do that. That's why my brother's from. But if you have money, right, here, you can then buy part. Let's say you had a company and you need to grow, right? Then I can buy part ownership in your social media marketing company. And then I get a kickback all the time. And then that helps me get the nine figures. Make sense? Yeah. So um, how many clients do you currently um, manage? Or how many clients have you gotten? Do you normally get a year? So, yeah, it's probably been over thousands I've helped. Uh, hundreds right now. It's only 25 people at a time that we do. And then anybody wants one-on-one -on -one time, I'll do eventually. Um, I do a lot of the one-on-one -on -one stuff. I'll go on a podcast. I'm doing less of these right now. So because I actually have my Make More Money podcast where I have Dana White coming on, Hugh Jackson. I just had like a lot of people. People pay to come on that podcast, invite only. Um, Grant, Grant might have to pay. The JP Fox is probably going to be on. We're going to record it via Clubhouse style, I think. I see. Cool. Um, 
All right. So, what do you think about Clubhouse? Do you like where do you think it's going? What's your play? What's your uh, game plan on Clubhouse? Yeah, dude. Uh, Clubhouse is um, I say it's crack for entrepreneurs, right? Because there's only so much you can learn. It's not good. Like I have it on the background right now. Um, Grant's in there with the girl who wants shop.com. It's the, and listen, I was a great network, net, networker before Clubhouse, right? Right now, this big movie star I'm doing is marketing consulting for right now because of Clubhouse. Because of everything I teach people, I know how to reach out to people. I know how to make it happen. And I, I really know how to like just collab and, and really be, have the other person's interest in mind. That whole quote, if you help another, enough people get where they want, you'll get what you want. That's right. exactly what I, that's exactly when it turned off. When COVID hit and it was shut down, I started helping business over line. So that's the way you do it, man. It's, it's, it's a huge networking thing. Um, the future, man, I don't, I don't know about the future of anything. I know the present now. I mean, eventually they'll probably monetize to have people, you know, tip speakers and stuff. So probably be a way. I, I love doing radio. It reminds me of radio, growth-minded radio. So I'm going to be running a, a, the Wealthy Wake Up Show in the morning with my brother. So me and my brother do a morning show. Uh, we've done it before. We're going to bring it over to Clubhouse now. We just got the, the mic to actually do it all. Um, man, but I do. It's funny. I did the 7Y challenge. And uh, I think it was Lewis House who asked me. He was like, well, why, 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 why? Right? And you go all the way down. And it was like, if I get to my dream, right? Kokomo J's Pop Shop Music Studio. I honor my brother, right? Like, then people get depressed when they get to their goals. So what would you really do all your life? You know what it would be? It would be a morning show. Just like this. Being the MC, bringing great people on like you with your successful business, right? One guest, give away money at the end of the show, teach people about money, and all every single morning. Uh, Glenn Lundy does Breakfast of Champions, which is good. We're only going to do like an hour of it, but yeah. um, but that's what I want to do, um, and I'm going to do that 100%. We haven't been doing a lot lately because I've been hiring and building teams, so there's a lot going on. It's definitely going to be something I'll do for life, so... So let's talk about team 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 building and leadership. Um, what are your any tips on team building and leadership? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So the best one is, and you can write this down. Anybody listening? My brother uh, came up with this formula. So he brought a restaurant from the bottom nine forty six nine forty six to top fifty and developed leaders. And this is this it'll be. You can go. I forget where you can go. Mastering management is the name of the course. But it's what he teaches. He gets paid. But he went and spoke to business and everything. It's this right here. You got to know where each and every person at. You can do this with the self-assess yourself and all your employees or the people you bring on your team. And it's a hierarchy of human development. It, start, it goes with insecure. That means I can't grow, right? That's people there. Then mm -hmm. arrogant, right? Which a lot of people will hire some arrogant people because they get results, but they just will leave a whirlwind of damage, like my brother says. And arrogant people believe I don't need to grow, right? Then there's confident, right? Confident is believe, okay, I, I, I can see that I need to grow. Then there's confident is I, I am growing and I will continue to grow. And then there's um, leader and uh, my goal is to grow others, right? So in that little thing, it's an amazing little tool because when you're even talking to people, you can say, okay, we're, is Jeff a little arrogant right now talking? Maybe a little bit, right? So is he, is he confident? Oh, maybe he's confident, right? So you can know, okay, I'd hire him because he's up confident level, right? Oh, he can become a leader, right? And your goal in life is just really develop leaders. And leaders, it's like it's like a chain reaction. This is all from my brother, John C. Maxwell, all those guys, man, all the good stuff. My brother's like the best. Like, I know everybody knows John C. Maxwell. My brother's like unknown and he pours into me. He reads my books. He just, he's, like, I'm not, I'm good at marketing, man. And I'm good at helping people market. He is extremely smart, okay? So mm -hmm. I take a lot of risks. And he's very calculated. Like, so we work well together. And he basically, um, he basically showed me that if you develop a leader, right? And they develop somebody else. It's like a big world when it keeps going forward, right? I was like, oh, wow, that makes sense, you know? So that, that's really it, man. It's, it's developing leaders and finding them. And you got to do that to let go of your ego. A lot of people just want to be the head guy and don't be it. You know what I mean? And so they'll, they'll cut people out. You got to be not okay with that because the idea is you believe in the mission, whatever the mission is, right, to help people, then you need more leaders to do that. That's how great people do great things like Elon Musk and everything. They, they find leaders and they, they create yeah. them. He has two questions you ask people it's amazing i think the best way to learn leadership is like the model they are describing to me sounds a lot like a network marketing model like you know you duplicate you you, you build leaders you duplicate leaders and then you can recruit you recruit new people and bring them up to become leaders yeah. have you done network marketing or something before yeah so dude network marketing uh is great because of the network if anybody doesn't know what you're doing you go network marketing you're just being a crazy network and where it doesn't work, you don't believe in the product. You don't believe the end product. Like I did Amba Energy and Melvuka. 
and it was good product, I don't believe in it. So at the end of the day, you're going to die off. Once you believe in the mission of the product and the people you're with, then it changes the game. Network marketing is probably the easiest business, the MLM, whatever you want to say it is. I don't care what you I don't care what you call it. It's the best business model because I've tried to build businesses and start from burn 2000s, let less low capital to get the highest return, right? And just in business, man, you got to recruit anyway. Like, as yes, my business right now, I'm looking to recruit things. The same thing. I'm just doing more capital and I have to pay them. Usually at network marketing, you have somebody at the top paying them down, right? And then you get a cut and they get a cut from you. And that's how it's worked. I'm going to actually create um, probably a, a network marketing business and be at the top of it. It might be a part of Changing Lives Entourage, which is the group consulting. So I'm going to be a whole huge group and it's going to be on light speed. Uh, it's going to be people can go in and learn everything I've learned and be able to duplicate and do that. And whoever wants to come back in, they can then, we're going to get two leads. I get so many leads of people being coached. I can't coach everybody. So I'm going to have some people coach people, right? And then I'm going to have some people be consultants where then they can go on and um, some people coach people and then some people can apply for the license to learn everything, right? So it'll be like a twofold business, you know? Yeah. So what are your tips on scaling? Like, how do you scale scale a business? Yeah, so uh, 100%. So Albert Preciato, which people get mad at, he said driven at... No, I just talked to Andy on date. He said, don't mention too many names because it makes people's names go. But my whole thing is when I'm like, I'm just trying to show people, I'm not being fair, I'm trying to show people this is the knowledge I've gotten from people and this is the stuff I've applied that's gone there, right? Now, Grant's right, though. You don't want too many mentors to go, it'll uh, dilute. But like, Albert's early mentor was Grant too back in the day. And um, basically you want systems, systems and procedures. There's a good bo uh, book called Traction. Uh, there's another book called Clockwork. And there's another book called, um, um, what is it, Principles. Okay, those three books all have systems in it. So if you're trying to scale, this, I'm reading Principles right now, actually. I'm going through it. But if you're trying to scale, you want to actually know exactly what systems are in I would, this is a, a hack right now, record everything. Like if you were recording how to do a podcast for teaching, record it and then you can just get, you have the reference sheet, they can do it, right? It'll save time for you. This is what I do for everything and for your employees going forward. But it's all systems. Like McDonald's, I want to build a franchise. I want to build a Pokemon Jays. McDonald's is a system, right? Everything's in there. They know how much the burger's on it, right? That's how it is. If you don't have a system in place, you try and scale, guess what? That burger at McDonald's is not going to taste good. Just catch them come out wrong. The pickles are going to be messed up, right? They don't have it all thing. They're going to try and make them fast, right? So it makes sense. So you need to know the process and the system, SOP, all right? Um, you need to know that first and get that really ironed out and go through it a few times, and then you can start scaling, right? Then add in the ads, right? Like, I don't, dude, I do pretty well. I don't even run any ads now. As soon as my systems are in place, which are in place, you're going to see my face everywhere. I'm like, oh my God, I interviewed Jeff the Entrepreneur way back when and look at him now, you know? So let's talk about branding. How, how, how do you, um, what are your tips about branding? Yeah, so really quick. So with branding, you want to be confident and you want to have energy. So there's five currencies in life, right? So yeah. the five currencies are, and I got this from Andy, but uh, energy is one of them, money, barter, knowledge, and relationships, right? So the biggest thing, everybody has a mental level of energy. The reason why I'm around you, you have a certain type of energy. I'm like, oh, I like this kid. I just want to hear more about you. I see you speaking in the background right there. Is that you speaking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was speaking to a crowd. Uh, this was, yeah. It was a social media marketing summit. So, yeah. That is, that's awesome, man. So, yeah, yeah. that's your business. You do social media marketing? Um, I do coaching. So, I have about 1,400 clients. Um, I coach them on uh, marketing and sales, marketing and Facebook marketing. Yeah, marketing basically. Yeah, so this, this is good, dude. Then you bring on someone like me who's been kind of doing pretty good. And you extract information and go fast, right? That's the way to do it, man. So yeah, basically what it is, that's, that's exactly what I do. So building a brand, dude, you need you need to connect with um, the emotion of somebody out there. So people buy with emotion all the time. You need to tell them not your whole story or anything. It doesn't have to be your story. It can just be something in life that is your perfect type of client that connects with them. So when you're branding, and it's crazy, like if I'm branding, uh, and this is how you brand anywhere, if I'm branding in the um, in the ghetto, right, where there's all black people around and everything like that, right, I'm going to tell them the story of when I played football and I was a white dude on the only black team and I saw, you know, certain guys like get pulled over and stuff like that that wasn't right. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell them like that type of story, right? That's my brand. And I'm emotionally passionate about changing that, right? Like that, that, that is, that's something. So, because of that, now all of a sudden there's a connection, right? With a lot of people who may have been judged that way, right? And I see that and I'm passionate about that, right? See how I have the energy comes out, right? So, but then if I'm with, um, 
you know, if I'm with Dana White or whatever, then I'm going to basically say, hey, his video changed my life of saying, you know, um, that you can always go back and be a bellhop. You always quit your job. And I quit my job after watching his video, right? So I led with that. That's emotion connection. Hey, I changed your life, right? So you make the connection. That's that's how brands all make happen. Any brand that you see, even if it's a logo, it's a connection that's made of either entertained or big emotion. And then it goes to the what's in it for me thing. So then it looks good on something like that. Like literally, dude, my social media has been like blowing up because of Clubhouse, but it was blowing up before then. And I've been as transparent about my brand at all. Yeah, because of the Ferraris and this and all that. Dude, I'm like, nope, I'm going to exactly show you exactly where I'm at, what it is to be an entrepreneur. Exactly, you're probably the Gary Vee way, you know? Um, and dude, I'll buy a nice car eventually. I might not even put it on there. You know what I mean? But like, it's not about that. For me, it's about helping people make more money. Right now, that's it. And if you don't do drugs and you're growth-minded, I will help you make more money. I will get you in front of the right client. I will do that. And there's going to be like, nobody better. I personally believe, like I'm really, really good at it, right? So, um, and so that builds up a brand right now. I'm building the brand as the marketing guy, Jeff, the entrepreneur, you know, what, what's he do. Right. But like, that's it. You got to have that conviction to build the brand all the time. And even if it's not me, like if I couldn't do it, then it's okay to have it partner with someone who can reach more. Like I partnered with Andy. He can reach more people than me. And now we collab. You see, you want to make sure you have, um, you want to, you want to be, you want to make sure either you have the energy or conviction that connects with the person to build your brand, or you want to collab with someone who does. Like those are the two things that, that work to build a brand. Because sometimes, you know, people buy who they know, like, and trust, right? Those are brands, whether it's Bounty, Paper Towel. Like I always say this thing. Do you, you ever hear of Bounty, Paper Towel or no? No. Well, paper okay. Towel. Like, I know about yeah, Paper, paper Towel. But... Well, there, there's a company in America called Bounty. And basically they showed a little puppy dog in the middle. And then they showed the vase spill over of it, right? And the vase spills mm -hmm. over. And then they showed the Paper Towel pick it up. And then they showed the logo, right? What yeah. that does, because of marketing, it's brand awareness. They they brand their brand all the time. Yeah. So when I'm out in this supermarket, I'm going to go buy a bounty because they branded it, right? But yeah. even they, they follow the same um, same process. Yeah. I always believe that branding is only either by branding by association or branding by results. So association is like, um, you know, associating yourself with other successful people, associating yourself, um, you know, showing that or your lifestyle and everything. So if people associate your brand with something. Or branding by results, which means you show your testimonials, your track record, your case studies. Those are the two ways. Yeah, to... those, those are, listen, those are definitely, you need that. You know, you need both of those things, right? You're going to need credibility, right? So that's whether it's, uh, people trust when they have something in writing more, right? So it's credibility, whether it's PR, you get PR done, or it's, um, or it's testimonies. Those are the two things, 100%, that's it, right? But to get, to actually get a brand where like people want to, like there's a book called Free PR. I don't know if you ever read it. But um, it's a great book on basically getting like people asking all the time to be on shows and all this stuff. And, and I was on Amazon Prime and everything. And it's because of me making the connection, that whole part, everything then pours from, right? Now, all of a sudden, I actually bought um, a, a newspaper thing called Entourage Daily. It's going to be a thing where people can write for. We're going to own that, right? That was the last thing that I bought which just recently that this is how I stay broke, right? I invest in the companies all the time, so right? You, you, but my goal is 77 million. Of the company. You acquired 100% of the company? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I acquired uh, with Nathan. Nathan's going to own a little bit of it. Nathan's the PR guy. He, he's a great story. He's homeless and came up. And now I just partnered with a kid named Jeremy uh, Kanoff. He's a writer for Entrepreneur Mute, Matt Magazine. And we partnered with him. So, he's going to help out. We're going to, like, put something together with his um his PR agency. So it's all about the connections, man, in life. And like when that happens, when you get connections first, that's how you get testimonies. So you're making a connection. And that's how you get um, you know, stuff printed. I listen, showing the like the oh my goodness, you've done this and that is fine. You can do that. Okay. But I where I just succeeded, I didn't even show half of it. I've just done it. You know what I mean? And like, that's even cooler sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have all the, I was just in Vegas and did all this. I didn't show all like the beautiful Vegas photos like they do on Instagram, right? Because it's it's all like, it's showing, it's showing a perspective of something. And I don't want to do a bait and switch. I want people to show exactly what it is. Like, I've been working all night. I'm tired. I'm wearing a coat because I was outside. You know what I mean? Like, I'm as, as real as can be. And people buy real, man. They buy I, authenticity, you know? So I think that's, that's the biggest thing that I think you got to, make sure you lead with no matter what it is, you know? Great. Let's, uh, last topic, let's talk about marketing. What are your tips about marketing? Yeah, be everywhere, man. Tell everybody what you do. Like, what do you do right now? Tell me, tell me what you do. 
So I coach people in sales and marketing, yeah. Sales and marketing, right? So you're telling everybody that then? Does everybody know? Um, Call up your yeah, list. It depends, it depends on who I'm talking to. Yeah. So if let's say I'm talking to someone that wants to build a webinar funnel, I'll talk to them that I'm a, I help people build automated webinar funnels. If someone wants to get clients or, or just wants to run ads, I'll show them that I'm a, that I help them run so ads. Do you, know, do you know people to do that or do you just try and do it all? Do you have a team? Um. So, so it depends. It depends on what's the service that they do but I, I I possess most of the skill sets yeah so it's but I can choose to outsource it because I've trained over a thousand four hundred clients so I can always outsource if I want to but if I want to do it myself I've, I've got all the skill sets to do so yeah so no what I would do and that's fine but you're going to confuse people like how old are you it doesn't matter I'm, how old you are I'm 24 yeah yeah but whatever man you're doing great you're awesome so listen you and I did the same mistake. This is the only reason why I'm saying it. If you start telling people I can do this, I can do this, this, and you don't tell them one message, they're gonna get confused and they're not gonna they're not gonna trust you a lot because they're gonna think, oh blah blah. They want to know that you know enough about stuff like that. Like I would I would do you have any digital courses yet or no? Yeah, of course. So uh I have a course, yeah. Yeah, dude. We, we should talk, man. I could probably help you automate digital like that. You know what I'm saying? So but my whole point in that is like if you, if you, if you kind of trend away from the message, right, and you don't say what you do, you want to tell everybody what you do, man, no matter what, you know? Like, even that, I tell everybody, like, if you didn't have one, I would say you should have one, you know? And you should you should, uh, you should should have a digital product, you know? Because now, so what you do is you direct people into it. You make, I mean, not everybody should have one, but, yeah, I think everybody could. Everybody could teach something, right? So you have someone, this is your one thing you do. You then, you tell everybody what you do, like, all the PR, everything, you know, Jeff, there was just something thing, whatever Jeff J. Cunningham is changing lives financially, right? So I've helped more people, you know, make more money online. And now with my brother, we're helping, you know, um, get good debt, right? I own real estate, I own a real estate investment. I don't even talk about that, right? I just don't want a passive investment because I don't want to then do real estate coaching. You see what I'm saying? Because that's like out of my wheelhouse. Eventually one day, once I own a lot of portfolio, then, then maybe I'll take that on too. But for right now, you want to be known for one thing and just know it. That was a mistake I made after a while. I just was doing a million things. I said, yes, the million network marketers, I'll sell them for this guy, this, that. And it was good, dude. Honestly, it was really good because it got me a lot of training connections. Um, but it, you would have got there faster if you just, if I just, just stuck with one thing, you know? So if anyone wants to follow you, where can they find you? And do you have any, um, like you mentioned, you had a free gift for some, yeah, and how do we get it? Yeah. Yeah. So um follow me, Jeff the Entrepreneur. If you DM me action, we get a free action sheet. I think I fill it out every morning. Uh, I'll show it to you. DM action. If you guys don't feel productive with your day, um, it's the best PDF ever. You print it up, show it up, has color coding where you can color code your day in, whether like this is uh this is uh, blue personal development here, right? Yellow, I got this from Ken Jocelyn, right? But yellow is um working on your business green is when you're making money and red is spending time with people you love right and really just plan out your day writing out the big like top three things you want to do and don't in that day to do those, those three things most people do for uh things so if you dm me action or you text the code if you're on clubhouse follow me text the code we'll send out a free gift there but jeff the entrepreneur is probably the best way or you go to jeff's iphone.com and that'll have the next uh webinar we do uh, that we do up sounds good all right so make sure you follow him and um message him action to get that bonus for free all right thanks for coming on the show uh, for those of you who enjoyed this show make sure you like make sure you comment uh, what are the three biggest learning lessons you've learned make sure you share this with your friends and um, follow jeff all right take care and i'll see you soon